So basically what happened is this guy was driving down the freeway and he looks in his mirror and he, he, he sees lug nuts flying off. And so he pulls off over here at Country Club, pulls into the Holiday Inn parking lot, parks it right here, calls me. I come out, we jack the truck up, we jack the truck up, and the wheel just comes right off. We didn't even have to spin any lug nuts off because there were no lug nuts. And if you look at the old hub, you can see that we're missing four studs. And so our, our theory is that he had no lug nuts at all on these ones. And then these broke off because these had no lug nuts. So anyways, it's a good thing he called us because uh, he was about... He's about 30 seconds away from his wheel just flying right off. And it could have been a serious incident, but it wasn't. We came out, we got him going. All right, so today we're replacing the wheel hub on a Chevy truck. It's a Chevy K2500. And then, or a GMC 2500. And then, the first thing that we did was take the wheel off. You see we got some uh, lug nut studs broken off. And then we took the axle nut socket off, this thing right here. And then there are four bolts in the back. Let's see if I can get a picture of it. Yeah, you see uh, right there that, that open bolt right there. There's one right there. And then there's another one right there. We already took the bolts out. Okay, so there's those two, and then there's two more on the other side. So we took those four bolts out. We took the axle nut socket off. You've got a bolt up top for the brake caliper, and then a bolt on the bottom. And that's what he's taking off right now. So he's got a pry bar right here. He got both the bolts out and he's just prying back and forth to get the caliper off. And then he'll just uh, move that off to the side and then pull the pads out. And then there's two bolts. See that big bolt right there on top? And then, uh, and then there's another one on the bottom and they hold this big bracket on, okay? So we got both bolts off for the bracket and now he's gonna pull that rotor off. Okay, so we took the rotor off and the hub just came right off. So now there's, the wheel speed sensor is holding the hub on, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, we're actually gonna put the new wheel speed sensor on. So we're gonna take off this little clip right here and take off this little plug up here and then uh, a, new, uh, a new wheel speed sensor came with the new hub. So we're just gonna use that one. So now we got the new hub set up there with the new wheel speed sensor ready to be plugged in and then He's putting the four bolts in that hold the hub to the knuckle. And you see, we're putting red lock tight on all the bolts. The last thing you want is for a car that you worked on have the wheel bearing come off and then somebody get injured or killed in a car accident so please make sure to use Loctite on all these kinds of suspension bolts
Okay, so now we got all four bolts that hold the new wheel bearing actually in, and he's just tightening them, tightening them down right now. We made sure to use red Loctite on everything so that we don't have any bolts walking out while somebody's going down the freeway. See, we got this new wheel speed sensor. It's gonna go up here, right there. Okay, so now we're putting the rotor on. We got the wheel speed sensor hooked up. Putting the axle nut socket in. It helps if you have an impact. Tighten that bad. Tighten that bad Jackson down. Oh yeah. That's how we do it. Now we're gonna put the caliper bracket back on using lots of red Loctite so we don't want any brakes falling off. So now he's tightening down the caliper bracket. He's snugging them down with the electric ratchet and then he's gonna take the, the bigger half inch ratchet and uh, go full, go full gorilla on it. and then go full gorilla on the top one. That's two gorillas holding on your brakes in case you were counting. Now he's putting the brake pads on and then he's gonna go ahead and slide the brake caliper in there easily with no trouble at all. So now he's compressing the caliper. He put one of the brake pads into the caliper and then took our tool and he's compressing down this side and then once he gets pretty far down on this side, then you see the other side goes down and then he takes the tool out and now the caliper will slide easily over the pads. And now he's putting the caliper back on now that the pistons are compressed. And you see we got a bolt up top and a bolt down bottom, and we are using Loctite on all of it. Yeah. So there you have it, he tightened down the caliper bracket bolts, the caliper bolts themselves, and we got brand new lug nuts because all the lug nuts fell off of this while the man was driving down the freeway. And we're just gonna put the tire back on and we're good to go.